welcome back to another episode in this video i'm gonna show you how you can create a custom header in wordpress website with elementor page builder from scratch let's jump to the screen go to wordpress dashboard i will open my page where i will design my header this is fresh page now i will open my page where i will create custom header first install a plugin go to plugin then click add new now search for a plugin called Elementor Header and Footer. Then install and activate this plugin. When you go to Appearance, you will see Elementor Header and Footer option. Open this plugin interface. Click Add New option. Then set title. I'm going to write header. Through the display on option, you will get the option of placing your header anywhere on the website. Then click publish. Now start our editing part. Click edit with Elementor. Before I design in Figma, now I will look at the design and create the website. First, choose the four section structure then click 9 dot icon and drag this text heading and drop it here you can see three different text in top left and opposite side implement image widget to set this app icon top right corner now choose the first one copy this text then paste it here change html tag to h6 then alignment center Go to a style, then you can change your font style. I'm click main section and change background color. Then change font color to white. And then change font size and font width. Ok, duplicate this section and copy other text and paste it here one by one. Copy donates, then paste it here. Now I have 6 column. Simply implement logo icon in last column. Go to widget, then upload logo icon. You can rearrange height wide. Just hold on your mouse and increase gap between elements next go to advanced tab unlink and decrease margin on top now looking good we'll edit the following section so here i first need to take a look then take a search box and then create a nav menu section individual. Okay, I will take another structure in this place. So, choose this four section column. Since I need three section, I have selected this four column and I will delete one from here. Set the logo first. So for that, I have to go to the widget and drop the image element. Since my background color is orange, I kept my logo white. To change the background color, need to go to the main container. Then go to a style tab and then change color. Ok, we will create the next section. After going to the widget, I will find search widget. Then drag and drop this element. Need to change some setting of your search element. and. Here, change layout design to input box with button. Increase border radius to look more beautiful. And here, if you reduce the color opacity a little bit, our button will be highlighted. After designing success box, now test it and change typing text color if you want. 
Here change the text of placeholder. I'm gonna write search your product. Now create many section one by one. Otherwise you can find nav widget. I'm going to create one by one. Go to widget and search icon. Then paste it here. Change this icon. First I will find user icon. Change icon color. Then go to advanced tab and unlink margin. And then increase margin on top and right side. Since we have login language and cart icon, change it one by one. Then add our text here. Go to widget and drag this text widget and paste it beside user icon. Now change HTML tag to H6 and replace text to login. Centralize this text. Now go to a style tab and change text color. Change font weight to medium. And increase line height to fix this issue. Go to advanced tab and increase margin left and right. Now duplicate this heading widget. And change text one by one. First add symbol, then add sign up text. and then add site language. Adjust design as it is same as UA design. When finished bottom section design, now remove distance between first section to second section. Click main section and go to advanced tab. Now unlink margin and decrease value to adjust distance. Sometimes having this editor panel does not understand our design exactly. So I have a video on YouTube how to move or resize editor panel. Must watch it. I'll put it on the i button. See here we have faced this type of problem. So after finish this tutorial you solve this problem first. Then design your website. So when I complete our design then update. Next to the I button, you find responsive option. Click on it. First, I will design tablet mode. Pretty much the design is clear. Just reduce the text size and margin padding. Our design will be fine. Decrease logo size, then centralize all the element. Decrease margin to field gap. Now update and open mobile view. I don't have so many options for mobile device. Simply select section and go to advanced tab. Then unfold responsive option and switch on height on mobile portrait. In the same process, you can remove those that are not needed. Then update. That's it guys. This is how you can create this beautiful custom header design. If you have any query, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe this channel. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Allah Peace.